Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a common question that I've seen. There's actually a pretty fun discussion the other day about how quickly can an aircraft be ordered to take off to actually get in the air. So for the purposes of this experiment, what I've done is I've gone ahead and loaded up a good old fashioned command here. I've taken a single F-16 and loaded it into this little spot kind of in the northwest side of Sanaki Air Base. Obviously I'm using an older import because you can see very clearly from this import that some of the pieces aren't quite lined up right. So we're obviously we're gonna have to make a couple liberties as far as distances goes. But what I also have going on is in the background is I have DCS. And I've actually taken our little aircraft, the exact same aircraft, popped it in this spot. And we're actually gonna go ahead and test to see how long it takes to do in command versus how fast I can do it. Now keep in mind, I'm not the best, but I'm also not the worst as far as getting these things started. So I kind of keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and try this out. The current time is 9.30 a.m. when we're trying just the scenario out here. I'm gonna tap F6, I'm gonna click on him and I press launch individually. So I've ordered him to go ahead and move. One of the cool things is if you've ever actually watched this, you can see that aircraft move around the airbase. If you do something like this, do you see how he's now over here? And he'll actually make his way down to the airport and then you'll suddenly see him on the runway Did you see how he turns around? And off he goes. So it looks like he was airborne at about, uh, let's see, about 9.45-ish is uh, about the time he seemed to have taken off. Of course, if we went down here, we could go double check that as well. But it looked like I said right around 9.32 and let's call it 45 seconds. So let's call it 2.45 uh, between let's go and let's go. So let's go ahead and pop back over to DCS and uh, go ahead and get in the simulator and see what happens. All right, DCS is all fired up and everything is looking pretty good. So uh, we're not going to start the clock until uh, the moment, of course, as I uh, go ahead and fire this thing up. I'll do the best I can to do a start. I'm going to be skipping a lot of items that you should be checking, you know, your safety checks uh, when you do do a regular aircraft flight here. So um, unfortunately, even though I'm going to be doing this quickly, I won't necessarily be able to do it safely. So can you keep that in the back of your head? So our mission starts at 8 o'clock. Uh, when we're airborne, we'll go ahead and uh, stop the clock, so to speak. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and press that one. I'm going to go ahead and take my head over here and now we're going to go ahead and get this process started. So swing to the side. We're just going to go right down the side. We'll do the ultra cheap mode. We'll do one of these. We'll come swing over here. I love the little tiny thing. We'll head those switches. We're going to make our way right around. Again, you'd never do this in this particular order because this is just going to cause all sorts of shenanigans and goings-ons uh, when you would normally go ahead and get this thing started. Make my way down on this side. We'll go ahead and pop our way to the master power. I love this. You go click, click, flip that sucker on, and all we're going to do is go ahead and pop the starter and get that thing going right away. So let's go down to the back. We're going to make sure our OBOG you can hear that thing uh, cranking pretty aggressively already. I'm going to go ahead and pop this thing into drive, <laughs> if you want to think about it another way. Again, I am rushing like crazy here. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Just going through a couple different options here. Stick my head around the back. That looks pretty good, too. Probably something we want to have turned on. Good. Looks good. Always do that. Nope. Down, I say. Delightful. Slap the spider. Give everything a minute. And we're going to get a master caution. We'll go down here. We'll go ahead and turn on our alignment. I've already selected my alignment. The thing is already booting up. So go ahead and grab that and pull that to cage. Uncage that sucker. Both of these are turned on. Crank this sucker on nice and bright. All right. Whoop. Go ahead and press the return button. I must have hit that by hand. I'm going to go ahead and press the uh, menu button here. I'm going to go to miscellaneous. Ah, what am I doing? List. List. I had a moment. Go to the nav page. Uh, we'll go, we can go ahead and see all this stuff. This is my nav status. Oh, of course, we can go back to list again. I can see other. We can go ahead and take a look at uh, D-range, a laser, all that other good stuff. GPS is probably already turned on, so I'm not going to worry about that too, too much. Right now, what we're waiting for is our navigation system to basically boot up here. This does take a few minutes. Let's take a look here. VIP, INS. Let's see how it's doing. And we have a little ways to go. Master caution reset. This is probably reminding me of the fact that I probably did not arm my seat, which I did not. Look around. We're loading. We should be ready in a few minutes. Again, uh, we're going to be assuming we can take off at that runway, not the runway down on that side. So we're going to need a right and a right to get going. Turn on the link 16. We probably need that. We'll finish up turning everybody else on. Set that to auto. Obviously, you're going to have to put some power on this thing. Oh, we don't have any little buddies on this version of the F-16. That is the same. Okay, looks good, looks good. We can test our helmet-mounted sight. Keep in mind, we don't have to go through the process of actually programming and linking that thing up. So I'm not going to worry. I'm getting a flashing light telling me my INS system is now ready. So flip this up to the navigation button. And now we're actually ready to go ahead and start rolling. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, release my brake, which I didn't set in the first place. Give it a few little RPMs here, and we're just going to get rolling. Remember, we're going to be taking a right and a right to get out of here today. Pop that off real quick so I don't confuse myself. 
I appreciate the fact that on this F-16, it actually uh, tips like crazy when you go around a corner. That's just uh, a little too realistic, honestly. All right, again, I'm rushing here. This is uh, not me going slow in the slices. Real world, you want to be very careful, especially uh, if you uh, make it all your weapons armed. You have to have the guy come by and pull the pins out of the bombs and stuff like that. This is already incredibly abbreviated, but again, I'm doing the best I can with what I got. Hold the brakes. We're going to go ahead and spin around the corner. I almost rolled my F-16. That would have been pretty embarrassing. Come, come, come. Da, 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 da. Slow down just a tiny bit there. I'm going to get myself nice and lined up. Turn. Time. You can see my current time. Brakes just a little tiny bit there. We're rolling over this way. Line myself back up at the runway. Again, the runway should be right here. I've not requested permission. I've not armed anything. I'm just uh, cruising right along here. All right. Looks. Whoa! And I just died. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and give it full throttle. up all right we did it pause okay so the current time is uh four and three sixteen so it took us three minutes and 16 seconds and uh, in that time of course um we did die because we rolled the airplane but um again i'm ignoring that that was just me being a little bit too aggressive here but what i did want to see is the fact that this time is actually really not far off from the time that we actually saw over in command. Now, remember in the real world, like I was saying a hundred times, is you have to actually go to the arming sector and actually have a guy pull all your pins out to arm things. Uh, you have to hand out certain things. You'd have to double check real quick. There'd be all my safety checks, which I didn't do any of. Remember, you just watched me just go. The other thing that's a huge difference is this INS system, if it didn't have the alignment stored in it, guess what? It's not there. Then to make things worse, none of my navigation stuff would have been programmed because in this thing, you actually have a little cassette tape that you literally shoving right here it's this little data transfer unit you'd stick it in and then you'd have to scan it and load it into all your programs and again none of these have been preset right now i'd have to sit there and now add all my waypoints of course there's some you know guy in the space right here which would be telling me exactly where to go and who to engage but it's just worthwhile to kind of see those two things side by side so hopefully this video is helpful as far as kind of seeing that if I, my engines were already started i probably could have knocked a minute off of that and got airborne in one minute so um i'd love to see some future features in the future that's too many words right now that would go ahead and kind of emulate some of the challenges of being ready all the time versus having things not ready between the kind of the standard that we see in command. Enjoy.